Martin Scorsese's latest film, Killers of the Flower Moon, arrives in theaters tonight. Is it any good? I don't know, because I haven't seen it. But movie guy, YouTuber, and really nice guy. Mr. Sean Chandler has seen it. He joins us this morning to talk about it. Good morning, Sean. Good morning. All right, I, now I referenced the movie. Is, it, now this is based on a true story, and it's mm -hmm. about the Asajj Native American tribe being murdered. They had, they had their oil, and one of the FBI's mm -hmm. first investigation. That's a lot mm -hmm. to go over. Talk about right. that. Right. Yeah, that's kind of what makes this movie so fascinating. You've got one of the best directors of all time working with a top-notch cast, a very large budget, adapting a hit book from several years back about this fascinating moment in American history where there were just these very layered power dynamics where the Osage people uh, found oil on their land and thus had power and money. But they're in the middle of America where these outside Americans control the police, the hospitals, the banks, and therefore they have power and their greed leads them to conspire against these people that they've been living with for mm. decades. And so there's all of this sense of betrayal. It's gut wrenching. Uh, like you feel sick to your stomach about 30 minutes into the film. And that doesn't go away as you're just watching some of the worst of humanity in the middle of this very compelling story. And, and they have some of the worst of humanity being played by Leonardo DiCaprio, Robert De Niro, mm -hmm. big Oscar winners, and Native American Lily Gladstone. Are, mm -hmm. are, are any of them front runners for an Oscar? I, I think all three of them are pretty likely to get nominated. Of course, the, the two male leads there are top actors of each of their generations. They give transformative performances here where we've seen them play all these different types of characters sure. and gangsters and Leo's done everything. But then they just transform into very different characters here. And like Leo is playing this very dim-witted guy and you fully believe all of it. But the, the real surprise here is Lily Gladstone who is playing Leo's wife and she's a much more subtle character she doesn't get to be big and flashy, but she's compelling. You see her intelligence. You see what's kind of going on in her mind through her face, but without any like big gestures or anything. And she can be affable and hmm. fun. And she kind of is the one that pulls this whole thing together and is at the heart of the story as she's the most prominent example of the person that is the victim of all of this. Well, or or is the victim you and I? Because I should have led with this. <laughs> It's a three and a half hour long movie. Uh, do you have time to go to the bathroom? Like our newscast is four and a half hours long, so it's just an hour shorter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's long, and it's also a gut punch because it is just such heavy subject matter. I got about two hours into the movie, and I was thinking to myself, I, I might not like this thing because <laughs> it's just so heavy for so long. And then it, it turns around and has enough justice, and there was like, okay, cool, all right, this is this is really really good. But I would say the first 90 minutes could have been tighter, probably okay. should have been tighter. The longer it goes on, the more you get sucked into it. It just takes too long for that in murder investigation to start. You know where it's headed. It just doesn't get there quite quick enough. But it really is a great, compelling film if you can handle the runtime in a movie that is just so heavy. Like My All wife right. wouldn't want to watch this. <laughs> okay. So if you're like Sean's wife, don't watch it. Yes. But if you're like Sean... Watch it. Sean Chandler uh, talks about is his YouTube channel. You can see the whole review there. Uh, Sean Chandler Plus as well. Sean, thanks so much for coming on, man. And I'm going to I'm gonna go to the bathroom way ahead of time. Before I, see <laughs> I went two times before it started. <laughs> hey, thanks, man.